Hello and welcome back to another guide for blood magic. Today we'll be going over the incense altar, what it does, and how to upgrade it. So let's hop right into it. To craft your incense altar, you'll need a weak blood orb in the bottom center. You'll need two cobblestone, one on either side of your blood orb, a piece of charcoal in the center, and four stone, two on each of the sides and this will give you your incense altar. Now, what the incense altar will do is it will increase the amount of blood you draw from your dagger. To activate it to get the base 20% bonus, you need a three by three grid underneath it filled with a single material. In this case, I have stone, or I have chiseled stone bricks. To make sure to see how much bonuses you get, you need to hover over with your divination sigil. The top number is your tranquility, and your bottom number is the exact bonus you get percentage-wise per blood you put in. Now, one thing to know about this is that if you, if I go into my inventory and I take my sacrificial dagger, you can see that it is glowing and it looks different. This shows you that it is incensed, and to use it, you have to hold right-click, and it will charge up. And then when you're near a blood altar, it will activate, it will drain 90% of how much blood you have left. So depending on how much health you have, it will drain 90% of that into your blood altar. And giving you the bonus of whatever the incense altar is. In this case, it is 20%. So it will give you 20% more blood than it would have. You can also increase the bonuses. To increase your bonus, you will need more tranquility. At the starter level, you have zero tranquility, and to increase it, you'll need to make wooden path. You need 36 wooden path in a 3x3 three three square north, south, east, and west of your incense altar. And then you can add your tranquility, tranquility bonus items to the spots where I have the concrete grids. These will give you 3x3 three three grids for you to add your tranquility. With the base level, you'll be able to increase your bonuses up to 60%. You can gain more tranquility, but the bonus will be capped at 60. Here are some tables to show you the different types of items and blocks you need to increase your tranquility. One thing to note is that the more of one type of tranquility you have, it will decrease the effectiveness. To get the most bonus out of your altar, you need to have a diverse type of tranquility. The altar will register blocks that are on the same level as well as two blocks above the previous one. Now that you have access to your tier 4 blood altar, you can increase the bonuses available through your incense altar. For this, you will need stone path and worn stone path. You have to make 24 of each and they will be placed in the next two sections after your wooden path as you can see here. Each of these will give you access to the different colored concrete areas, such as the normal stone path will give you the red and black area, and the worn stone path will give you the green and purple area. Now if you have just the normal stone path area, this will increase your bonuses to 120%, but if you include the worn stone path area this will increase your bonuses to 200 percent and you place your bonus items within the range of the colored concrete area when you have your tier 5 altar and you have your archmage blood orb you can now make obsidian brick path now to make it you need your archmage blood orb and four obsidian and this will give you four obsidian brick path and maybe you may not necessarily like the look of this. So we can go around and by putting four of them in a crafting bench like show, like so, you can craft your tiled obsidian path. And both of these work with your incense altar because when you hit your tier five, you can now upgrade your incense altar even more. Now that you know how to craft your obsidian path, to use it in your altar is just like the stone or the worn stone path of just placing it in the next two sections after and they give you this whole large area that you can use. 
nine block area diagonally circling the whole thing. So you got a large cube, basic, a large square of area for which you can upgrade your incense altar all the way to 300%. And while making this, I decided to do some testing to find out how to exactly to get that. So I have this area over here. And this uses all the different types that you can get for your incense altar. Now, to start off, you have your base incense altar. For your wooden path areas, I set up grass blocks, I use two logs, and then leaves to make nice, like, miniature trees. Since they only work the three blocks above it, try not to plant actual trees because they might be too tall. If you do, if you just make these little ones by shearing leaves and just using wood logs, you should be fine. The next area out is all crop fields. So the majority of it is just hoed dirt, and in the corners you have water sources. And each of these are the three different crop, crops of carrots, potatoes, wheats, and here is a nice mixture of each. Now each of these sections is 20 blocks, I'm sorry, is 15 blocks. So you have five of each crop that you can do of wheat, potatoes, carrots. Next section is all soul sand and nether wart. Now soul sand doesn't give bonuses, but nether wart does. So that can help. That is mostly to be a divider because that's when you can put in lava. Now, so you can have little lava fields just kind of heating everything up. Then you have netherrack lit on fire on the outside of that. Again, just a nice barrier so your trees or crops don't set on fire. And finally, around the, all the way around the final side is life essence. And to get this, all you need to do is place a bucket in a blood altar with at least 1,000 blood in it. Just like how you do for a number of other mods for collecting liquids you need. You need 1,000 life essence or millibuckets of blood and just throw a bucket in there and you'll be fine. Now for the grand total to show the final, the final amounts is I'm getting 5,500 tranquility and the great 300% bonus. And again, this was my second or third try of just testing all this stuff out. Just mostly in my personal opinion, it doesn't look too bad. It actually looks kind of nice. And I know there are probably ways where you can easily min-max it a lot more. But then again, I'm getting the max bonus of 300. So you don't really need to do any more. But then again, you could probably do this with a lot less. I kind of was able to get it how I like it, and I kind of just kept it. Now you have all you need to continue your journey through Blood Magic. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more Minecraft guides and the occasional other video. Thank you all for watching and have a good day. Bye.